Hello, my name is Richard Sandoval and welcome to part two of Career Jobs and Opportunities, an online experience produced by Hispanic Lifestyle and sponsored by Synchrony with additional support provided by College Corps. In this installment, we discuss equity, diversity, and inclusion with Senior Vice President of Digital Client Initiatives at Synchrony, Ms. Cindy Miranda. At Synchrony, it's uh, equity, diversity, and inclusion. It's not just, uh, it's not just words. It, it truly is part of our culture. It's part of our DNA. Um, it is a business imperative, and we treat DE and I uh, just like any other critical business challenge. Uh, we have resources, objectives, strategies, and goals, um, and we have an entire team uh, really supporting our organization from top to bottom in implementing our diversity strategies and everything we do. So let's talk about specifically the Hispanic Network Plus and what that means at Synchrony and, and, and how does that work? So the Hispanic Network Plus is one of eight diversity networks at Synchrony. The plus is very important to us because we are a community of over 2000 members uh, that are not all Hispanics. We have many non-Hispanics that are advocates, they are allies. They are supporting our diverse strategy uh, to, to attract talent, to develop the talent, to promote the talent and move our talent forward. Uh, so really proud to have uh, 2000 members strong, supporting uh, a number of things. If you want to learn more about the organization, about the types of roles you can serve in, if you want to develop yourself uh, with specific domain skills, if you join our network because you are passionate about coaching and mentoring and sponsoring, it's all about the engagement. It's a safe place. It's a community of people that are really challenged to, to elevate our, our ability to promote our talent. Uh, and I, I can tell you that the, the team is completely driven by passion. Everyone is in this way because they're so fueled by it. Can you talk about if, if there's occasions where you guys have a gathering of all these separate organizations at Ab your company? Absolutely. So Synchrony is proud to provide an annual event. It's called our Global Diversity Experience. Um, and we bring together not only the, the most highly engaged members of all of our diversity networks, well, but we also bring our executive leadership team, senior leaders within the organization of all ethnicities and, and backgrounds, uh, we bring external speakers, our board of, of directors attend it, and it's truly a celebration of our differences. We utilize the ability to have diversity of thought, diversity of background, diversity of experiences to really pull together a, a, a critical business strategy to elevate all that we do today, both internally as well as externally in our communities. The balance, can you talk a little bit about your experience as a professional woman, and really what I'm looking for is advice that you feel comfortable sharing with um, your friends and your colleagues. Yeah, I can tell you, uh, Richard, that um, the culture at Synchrony has truly allowed me to flourish um, in my uh, decades here. The organization is completely uh, behind uh, working moms. Um, the support that we receive primarily in the form of flexibility. Um, everyone truly understands, especially now more than ever, that we are a hybrid workforce, um, that we are always juggling the priorities of home and work. Uh, but it allows me to bring my authentic self to work every day, allows me to be present in a room where I can ensure that everyone understands my role in the organization, what my priorities are, and, and most importantly, ensuring that our senior leaders that are surrounding us with support understands that we are trusted, we are empowered to make really good business decisions. Uh, but first and foremost, our families really shape who we are, and it allows us to really, you know, come to work, bring our entire authentic self to work and really, you know, push forward with all of our priorities. I believe you and I are both in a similar situation that uh, we had mentors that kind of guided us in our careers. Somebody saw something in us, we had some kind of talent and skill set that people felt that they should invest time 
Can you talk about if you are in a position to identify those people and how you're encouraging them, let's be honest, the younger Latinos, mm -hmm. Latinas, the Latin X, talk about how you're encouraging them to pursue their career goals. Yeah, Richard, uh, as, as part of the Hispanic network, um, we always talk about becoming a member can give you so much, but as a leader in the network, you are completely fulfilled with how much you can give back. And that has been one of my, uh, you know, my driven objectives, and that is to give back to an organization that is so, so uh, full of great talent and potential. We know how to identify the most engaged members of our network. We bring them forward. We engage with a, a, a sponsor to ensure that there's someone always having a conversation about that person, even when they are not in the room. We equip them with all of the developmental tools and resources and opportunities to get the exposure they need. It's not enough to provide the programs, but our people understand that it's their initiative, it's their drive to establish a professional network that gives them the exposure to meet our business leaders so that they can be recognized and considered for opportunities that can very much grow their careers and, and, and have a, a critical path to that navigation. So I will tell you the synchrony culture um, right now, from an external point of view, we are getting noticed. We want to be known as an organization that really prides itself on ensuring that we have the best opportunity for our underrepresented talent. That's Hispanics, that's Blacks, women. We want to ensure that there is an opportunity for all skill sets, all domain levels of professional experience, et cetera. We bring that forward, we hire diverse, our recruiters are diverse, our wellness coaches are diverse. We bring the full package forward. Uh, we provide an opportunity to have programs that accelerate your development at Synchrony, that give you that firsthand opportunity to expand those critical experiences. It's not just about a promotion or advancing your career, it's getting the necessary critical skills and the domains necessary to make you a well-rounded professional in our organization. And everything we do along the way includes our diversity, equity, and inclusion. I think one of the things that we offer is you know, the ability to have that close-knit relationship with uh, members of our organization that are really dedicated. They're accountable for your progress, accountable to see that you are getting the necessary exposure to help advance your career. So I really think that folks should consider the culture at Synchrony. It's vibrant and it's uh, super healthy for um, elevating our diverse talent. So Richard, we have, a, we have an amazing opportunity. We have uh, completely moved to a hybrid workforce, uh, which means that we have some of our locations that have people that are able to come into the office as and when they need it. Uh, if you are a much more productive person working in an office and it gives you the ability to have a start and end time, then come into the office. There's plenty of space for you to spread out with your team and, and have really uh, engaging uh, opportunities to connect. Likewise, you're able to work from home. Uh, flexibility of when you can get on your calls, when you have to step away to attend to your family, uh, gives you that, uh, that confidence that your work will be there uh, when you are prepared to engage. And uh, that flexibility has resonated with so many people. It has given many people the opportunity to even go back to school. Like folks have now more opportunity to continue to develop and invest in themselves. Um, the other opportunity that we have is that we bring together our employees at least once a month. If you are near a hub location, we have what we call connection days. We bring our people together, not so that folks could sit in an office and take the same old calls they could do at home, but rather to come in and engage as a community, engage with senior leaders that are possibly in town for other meetings. Uh, and it's a fantastic way to get to know absolutely new employees that join the company, as well as folks that you perhaps have worked with with for many months now uh, virtually, but you never had a chance to meet them in person. So we're really excited about the diversity of opportunities. Are there other projects, programs within Synchrony that you would like to share with us? Yes, Richard, there are. Actually, Synchrony has uh, a data-driven approach to addressing talent development, and it all starts with 
understanding our workforce, understanding the underrepresented talents, um, and seizing the opportunity to, again, recruit diverse candidates into programs where we can establish our employees on the right track to ensure that they have access to resources and developmental programs. We have a program called Mosaic Leadership Institute. It does offer programs at varying levels of the organization. So we have pipelines of younger talent as well as VP uh, prospects and then VP plus uh, opportunities for folks that are looking to have a, an opportunity to serve as an executive in our organization. Um, likewise, Synchrony also took it a step further and decided that there were still gaps in our workforce and looking at all other companies, like-minded companies that are focused on diversity, we decided to form the Latinx Executive Alliance. We also know it as LIA. And it is a coalition with other companies that are also really dedicated to elevating the diverse talent in our organizations, but preparing ourselves for the executive ranks. And so through the formulation of the many commitments made by these companies coming together as a coalition, working first and foremost on the priorities of how we are going to market to attract uh, the talent that we need to ensure that our diversity needs are met. Uh, Leah has done a fantastic job with you know, elevating the story. We have over a thousand members already engaged engaged on all types of opportunities, sharing our best practices, sharing the skills that our industry needs, what does our workforce of the future require, really focusing in on establishing those requirements and then having fun, having ways where we can measure the success of those outcomes. As I usually do, I would like to give you an opportunity to share your final thoughts with uh, our audience. Well, thank you, Richard. I think this has been a great opportunity for us to share uh, the culture that we have at Synchrony. I can tell you firsthand, uh, it has shaped my life in terms of the opportunities I've had along the way. Fantastic sponsorship uh, throughout the many years in, in many different functions. And the one thing I will tell you, the opportunities that exist at Synchrony are super challenging. You can take a role change in a function that can feel like you stepped into a brand new company. You've, you have the opportunity to learn so many different domains and you have the people around you to support you as you come up to speed. It's an environment that is open to change. It's open to learning. And uh, I think that our, our talent today really thrives on the fact that we're always challenging each other. Uh, everyone out there is always looking for a good opportunity to work with a fantastic dynamic leader or potentially an industry that they've never worked in or in markets that we haven't served before. The financial services that we provide to our consumers and our small, medium, large businesses really resonate. Um, we want people to engage with us, apply for credit, use our products work within our communities to ensure that they're getting the necessary skills, financial literacy, um, working within our community and, and local local leaders helps us to understand what are what are some of the things that are needed. We have opportunities to give organizations like Alpha, the Association for Latinos for America. Um, we have Hispanic Scholarship Fund, another great uh, partnership that we serve in. We provide grants, we provide mentorship opportunities, internships. Our goal is to ensure that we're, uh, we're addressing all of the diversity needs across all of our communities, not just Hispanics, but within our eight diversity network. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of Hispanic Lifestyle. To get the latest information on our activities, please subscribe to our newsletter or follow us on your favorite social media app. Until next time, please stay safe and healthy. Bye for now.